Okay, it's going. After completing the scorecard, I want you to create a purposeful practice session. So this is a good way of measuring your improvement, also benchmarking your improvement. Uh, you can gauge your current scores to your other, to the scoring ability that you want to get to, and it's just also a great way to benchmark your pro your progress. So there's nine different activities that we teach. Uh, short putts being one of them, so we may have you start from three feet, maybe six feet, maybe a, a combination of three, five, and seven feet out of ten putts. So you're going to just simply write down your target or your goal, your total that you completed, and then how many times you need to do that, which is the, the purposeful practice from the scorecard. Nine holes putting is a simple game where you, with one ball, complete nine holes, keep track of your score. If you're trying to break 90, that score should probably be less than 20. If you're trying to break 80, it's got to be 18 or less. If you're trying to break 70, it should be 16 or less. Uh, nine holes up and down, also we call that 21. Uh, the best players in the world get it up and down two out of three times or 66% of the time. Um, if you're trying to break 90, it'd probably be 25. If you're trying to break 80, probably 23. Again, if you're trying to shoot even par, better, 21. Okay. The wedge targets, we use a lot of different wedge ranges and boxes and gates um, on the driving range or the practice facility. And with those, we may set it up at 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, all the way to 100 yards. And you're gonna set a goal out of seven, 10, 15, even 20 shots. How many can you complete in that target zone? And then uh, fairways, and you'll see in the back of the range here at Bluff Creek, the posts are set 10 yards apart. So if you use, if you want a tight fairway, it might be 20 yards, uh, if you really want to challenge yourself. Typical fairways are 30 yards apart. Uh, if you just want to keep it in play, use five posts or 50 yards apart. So that's probably the, the main goal. So if you're just starting out, we may have you do something like hit 14 drives if you play 18 holes, seven drives if you play nine holes, and inside of a 30 yard gate and then just keep track of how many you get. Greens and regulation, again, we use the red, red flag, white flag, blue flag. The red flag gates are set at 15 feet left and right. The white flag is 20 feet left and right. And the blue flag is uh, 30 feet left and right. And if you hit it inside of that gate, that will count. And then you hit 10 shots with your seven iron, your wedge, and your five iron, or kind of vary the clubs. Uh, it's a great way to practice. The last one, which I think is even more important, or kind of the one that I've been doing lately, especially preparing for my personal major, is uh, the seven shot drill. So can you hit it high and low, push it and pull it, fade and draw it, and can you hit it straight? So do that with some different clubs in your bag, and I think you're really gonna find that you'll start developing some ball control, and ball control leads to scoring ability. So this is our purposeful practice form. Feel free to download it and get to work.